Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! All right, now I'm going to talk about uh, Miyuki Focal Connectors because these are really cool and we've got a new uh, idea in our design studio for how to use these. So these are our Miyuki Focal Connectors and they come pre-stitched. So they come like this. They're already stitched up for you. So it makes it really easy to use them in your jewelry designs. Um, you can just attach them however you like. Cynthia made um, some really fun pieces she just attached them to chain to make a quick bracelet so pretty this one she used a finished necklace attached it to a jump ring added it attached a charm to the other end with another jump ring so these come together in minutes um, and they make great little gifts um, you can stack them up if you're making bracelets and there's all kinds of different styles to choose from isn't that fun so pretty so super easy to make um, and again i've got a link to this design studio tutorial in our video description but i thought i would show you how easy it is to do yourself so i pulled um some of these other focal connectors so this one is just a little drop that i thought would be good for earrings so all you have to do um, since they come pre-stitched i'm just gonna open up this earring loop add my little uh, beaded drop and then close and then you've got some really cute earrings super trendy super stylish that took seconds um, so super easy to use so you just open that up and you might want to add a jump ring um, the loop on this is a little small so you might want to um, add a little more movement a little more length with a jump ring um, so super cute. So that took no time at all. I've also got a finished necklace here to show you how easy it is just to add one of uh, these pieces to a finished necklace. So I've got this cute little heart here that we can add. Um, do I have gold jump rings? I don't think I grabbed some gold jump rings, but I can use these silver jump rings to show you. Um, so open your jump ring and we do that um, in the correct way. <laughs> And then, so I've got my jump ring on there. Then you just add your chain from your necklace and then close your jump ring. Make sure it's closed nice and the seams are matched up. And there you go. That's it. Because this is a finished necklace, it has the clasp already attached. You've got a super cute little heart. And then uh, because this one has a loop on the end, you could add a little tassel, a little initial charm to personalize it, maybe a zodiac charm. Super easy. And if you're wanting to make a bracelet like this, um, you can do that too with our finished bracelet. So I've got links to our finished jewelry in the video description. I've got links to these Miyuki Focal Connectors as well if you want to um, make your own take on this fun idea. So this is one of our finished bracelets. And um, if you want to uh, add a Miyuki Focal Connector to this, all you have to do is cut out one of the center links. So let me find my center here. Okay, so it looks like this one is the center. So I'm going to cut out that link. And um, if the connector adds a little more length than you would like to your bracelet, you can cut out multiple links to shorten up that length to your liking. Okay, so that's cut. And then I'm going to add one of these fun uh, silver triangle links. Super easy. So we're going to do that the same way that we added it to our necklace. So I'm going to open up one of these jump rings. Add the loop here. Make sure it's closed nice and tight. Well, first, before I close it all the way, I've got to add my chain from the bracelet. <laughs> I got ahead of myself and then you close all right so it's attached to one side so now we're going to attach it to the other side so i've got a jump ring oh that's not a jump ring that's one of my cut chain pieces that's not, not going to work all right so we've got another jump ring we're going to open it and we've got a great video for how to open and close jump rings the proper way uh, on our YouTube channel, on our uh, website, artbeats.com. 
close it. Oh wait, before we close, we have to add, add the, the link. Let me see here. There we go. And then we close it. And there you go. Then you have a cute little focal for your bracelet. So I just made three pieces of jewelry here in just a couple minutes. That's how easy it is. And um, these look really intricate and like they would take a long time, but the work is already done for you. If you're afraid to jump into brick stitch or peyote stitch just quite yet, these are great to get started with. If you want that look in your jewelry but don't have time or are afraid of the technique, P.S. don't be afraid. It's a super easy technique, super fun. It's one of my favorites. But um, if you're crunched for time, um, these are great for making quick pieces that look really intricate. Um, so super fun and we've got those in a lot of different styles for you. And like I said and showed, um, they come together really quickly and they make really great little gifts. I think these would be great summer pieces as well because we have them in such fun, useful, bright colors. Um, so really great. So make sure to check those out as well. I've got links to those in the video description.